going to share with you all about mine. What is mime? Mime is a way of telling a story using actions only without speaking. Let me share with you. So we do that so that, you know, our bodies carry the story much more than anything else. But also because when we take away our own personal identity, we, we get a chance to, to be someone else. The eyebrows are actually uh, a symbol. They're a symbol for an expression. And the expression is something along the lines of, which is <laughs> this feeling of astonishment or innocence of seeing the world, or seeing something amazing for the first time. And then in a moment, you're going to start to draw dots or tears. Men are going to draw long, streaming tears. Um, and women draw teardrops on their cheeks. And that's another symbol. It's a symbol for pretty much the opposite feeling. It's a symbol for age and loss and experience and seeing something for the last time. So. The idea is that the mime tells the story from both points of view simultaneously. The, the point of view of seeing something incredible and astonishing for the first time and seeing it also with age and wisdom and experience for the last time. Sometimes we think of, of what we're kind of actually saying to each other, like in a piece with multiple people. Um, so sometimes we'll actually kind of talk through the pieces as we do them when we rehearse. Some of the things can be like really physically demanding. Sometimes we do fantasy mimes where we become objects, and so sometimes it's hard to figure out how do you embody an object. And so that can be challenging and kind of scary sometimes, but it's really fun when you get the hang of it. In our mime company, we create our own stories and we figure out the story that we want to tell and then we learn how to we figure out how to tell that story through movement and through gesture and finding those little gestures that people will recognize and that people will laugh at or and, and have a response to because they recognize it as part of you know this vocabulary of gesture and movement that we all have. I guess what's really cool is is it's not always silent because if the audience is laughing then as the actor you're listening to all the responses that the audience is having. I guess the hardest part for me is sometimes during funny pieces, like it's really hard for me not to laugh, but uh, you just try to stay in character.
What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. What is the scene about? Now it's your turn to try. Focus. Focus or pay attention to the action you are doing. Focus. So for example, in the scene you are playing a game, you are definitely sitting on a chair and you have your remote control. And when you're thirsty, Game over. See what I did? So you need to be very focused. So if you believe you are playing the game, you have a remote controller in your hand, and if at the same time you are drinking a glass of water, if you believe that you are doing the things, the audience will believe you. Size and shape. The size and shape of an imaginary object should not change suddenly. Shapes and size. Shape and size is very, very important in mind. So you cannot enter on stage with this size of the ball and then suddenly along the way, it gets smaller and smaller. Mm, no, you're not supposed to do that. So you have to remember. You have to remember the size. You bring the ball in the stage and throughout it has to be the same size. Even though when you are passing the ball to your friend, it's the same size. And when your friend receives the ball, he or she have to receive the same size. He cannot receive like this. <gasps> okay, so let me give you an example. A very, very simple example. Handphone. 
First, you need to know the size of your handphone. And now you are going to make a call. Hello, mommy? Mommy, what time are you coming home? Um, on your way home, can you buy me um, chocolate, please? Just one? Okay, thank you, mommy. See, the size of the handphone did not change. Big actions. In a mime story, what characters in a story are feelings or doing must be big. Let me share with you a short mime scheme. Enjoy the show! Thank <laughs> you.